Hello once again and welcome once again to another lesson. This lesson is going to be the first of a two-part series where we look at some of the more advanced aspects of working with instrumental parts. And in this lesson, we're simply going to be going through the parts ribbon. The parts ribbon is easy to find, it's easy to navigate, but it's actually very overlooked, and it's a bit of a shame because Sibelius has some really lovely features and quite powerful little tools in this ribbon. The first ribbon feature, New Part, is quite straightforward and doesn't really need a lot of explaining. It allows you to create a new part, which can also combine different instruments into the one part if we want to. The second feature in the ribbon is a bit more profound, copy and change instrument, and this can be quite useful. Copy and change instrument allows you to copy a part for another instrument. For example, if we wanted to create an additional viola part out of the cello part here, I select the cello part, click copy and change instruments, I then find viola in the ginormous list of instruments, hit OK, and there it is. I now have a viola part to double the celli. What is so wonderful about this feature is that it doesn't add this new part to my score. From the score's perspective, this new part doesn't even exist. The next feature in the ribbon is staves in part and allows you to edit instruments in an already existing part. Here you can simply add or remove staves from any part. Delete part is quite self-explanatory. If we have lots of features to create new parts, well obviously we also need to be able to delete them. What is great about this feature is that if we delete a part, it won't be deleted from the score. If we wanted to, we could even delete all of the parts. And when we go back to the score after doing that, it has remained completely unchanged. It's just as it was before. And we can add them all back again by again going to New Part. The next feature is Part Appearance. This will allow you to change some general part settings, but all of these settings can also be changed elsewhere in Sibelius. For example, in the normal document setup or engraving rules windows. Now for the most important feature in this ribbon. Copy part layout. Whenever you're working on instrumental parts, the likelihood is that you will want them to all look similar. When you begin working on your instrumental parts, spend a lot of time making sure that the first part is looking really good, and once you've set things up the way you want them in that first part, we can then use the copy part layout feature to copy its settings into the other parts. Of course, you will probably have to go through the other parts to tweak and change them a bit afterwards, but copy part layout will help set out the other parts in the right direction and save you from doing a bulk of the work over and over again. So moving on, we now come to some reset functions. Reset to score design and reset to score position. Very simple, these will reset an object's position or design to its default as set out in the score. There are also hotkeys for these, but to be quite honest, you probably won't often need this feature. Moving again to the right, we then have some printing options, but these are quite straightforward, so I'll let you check them out for yourself. So now we come to the end of the ribbon, and here we have a powerful little tool. Extract. This allows us to extract a part and make it into its own document. When we click on Extract, we arrive at a window called Extract Parts, and here we can choose which parts we would like to make into individual documents. So I'm going to select the violin and cello. This here is the file name, and we can see that it's using several wildcards. We select the folder, open parts after extraction, hit OK, and then it needs a little time to extract. 
And there we have it. Our parts have been made into individual scores. So that's a brief look at the parts ribbon. In the next lesson, we'll be looking at some other helpful parts features.